The Boots on the Ground for Heroes Memorial has become an iconic tribute to Gold Star families here in Rhode Island, but for the first time ever, the memorial is on display outside of the state. 12 News reporter Jade Holter tells us what high profile new location the Boots will be stationed in this weekend. Behind me, more than 7,000 boots are laid out on the field here at Gillette Stadium to honor those who gave their lives in the war on terror. And the folks memorialized behind us are the true, true patriots. Nearly the entire field at Gillette Stadium is now covered with boots memorializing servicemen and women killed in the war on terror. Without the military and what they do, protecting our freedom, protecting American values, values of democracy, there would be no tailgates here on a Sunday afternoon. Gold Star families being presented with roses to place in the boots representing their fallen loved ones. Brian was on his second tour in Iraq when he was killed um, on April 2nd, 2006. Lynn St. Germain Lund has visited her son's symbolic boot every year since the Boots on the Ground for Heroes Memorial was launched. She says the memorial being held at Gillette Stadium this year adds a whole new depth to the experience. When it was at Roger Williams Park, when it was at Fort Adams, it's pretty overwhelming seeing the boots there. Coming in here and seeing how the stadium kind of envelops it and, you know, and kind of gives it a nice hug is, uh, is, is kind of, is also heartwarming to, to see it and to, to be able to experience it. It's always been a goal of ours to travel with the memorial and to bring it to different locations. And what more iconic location than Gillette Stadium, something that's so important to all of New England. This is also the first time the full memorial has been displayed outside of Memorial Day weekend. St. Germain Lund says she is grateful to continue to see her son and other soldiers honored in meaningful ways. There's 7,025 other families like mine that have suffered the same loss. That's a big loss. And I think the fact that we continue to remind people and we tell people and we shove it in their face, so to speak, they need to know that. They need to know that the freedoms that they enjoy every day really are not free. The memorial will be open through the weekend. You can find more information, including the hours, on our website, WPRI.com. For now, reporting in Foxborough, Jake Coulter, 12 News.